Hello, in the last lesson we showed you how to do a 10 second video. Now let's try and expand this to be a slightly more interesting 15 second video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have the same intro and the same outro, but in the middle I'm going to have a little bit of a animation for the title. So if I grab my background, I bring my first image in, resize my first image. There we go. Oops, I'm going to put it like, yes, like that. My first image, I'm going to make that last five seconds goes up to 60 and in here I'm going to make that the same low and I'm going to take my person add that in have them start here with the tween go all the way to the end add in a second tween and move them to the end point right this is exactly the same as last time but now, in this next section, what I'm going to do is put in another little image. And resize that. Perfect. And here, I just want to make sure the top is aligned correctly. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in another layer. I'm going to call this one text. And in here, what you, I'm going to add, as you can imagine, is a bit of text. And I'm going to call, put that in, press it here, and quit. Walking holiday. Yep. Uh, I'm going to go over here, and I'm just going to put the size up to 70. Yep, that's a good size. I'm going to maneuver it so it is just above where the animation is. Now, what I'm going to do here is have my character come in. Oops. Because this goes up to 120. Have my character come in. Go up grab the text and bring it down so i'm going to select this layer track my person whoop no my person in spin them around have them Start here, move all the way, whoops, move to here, add a tween here. Then I'm going to have them go to here, which is a jump up, and then they're going to come down again and then walk off to the side but now just here when you see them jump up I'm going to take my text and starting from here add in a tween so as the person falls down the text comes down with them like so and then continues on to the end All right now if I hit play back on that section you get a that effect now all I need to do is add in the old animation 
So, now I'm part of this 15 second animation. What I have is I have the first five seconds, which go like this with the person walking across the scenery. I then have my next five seconds, which is the person walk across, jump up, and grab the title and pull it down, and then walk off again. And now what we're just going to do is we're going to recreate the final sequence here by putting in the new background, taking this to that section here, grabbing our final background and dragging that on, resizing it. I normally resize these things so I can maneuver uh, the edge I'm going to animate from to the right end. Because I'm going to move the character in from this end, I want this edge of the picture to be up against the edge of the animation. Okay. I don't need text in this one, but I will need this section, which is going to be the zoo person. Bring them back in. Set them up. And of course, easy peasy now, click the tween, move to the end, click the tween again, move them across, and now I'll do a little preview, and Excellent. So that works pretty well. Uh, I will say one of the disadvantages of the system is you can't actually see the edge of the animation underneath it. Uh, but that's not too bad. Really and truly, what I'd like to add is a little fade in and out at the beginning and the end. Uh, but that's small little bits. So I've got my animation. We know it's 15 seconds long. We've got all our individual bits. All we need to do now is export it. So I'm going to hit export. I'm going to export it as a video. Now, this might take a moment because we've got quite a few frames. But luckily, none of our animation is that complicated. Excellent. And now I should have a 15 second long video. Excellent. A 15 second long video. Just as your brief asked for. Okay. That's the end of that lesson, and hopefully that helps you along with the assignment.